Yesterday, while I was browsing the internet, I came across something that I had to tweet to my followers on Twitter. And I said in this tweet, I am furious. Of course, I am being facetious. I'm not actually furious. But what this is, is an individual who apparently had their Pixel Fold delivered to them already. The rest of us have simply had our order confirmed. This person already has the device. As they can say here, absolute surprise. No tracking email or text was sent. I was greeted by a knock at the door. Very, very strange situation. Nonetheless, this individual in the UK has their Pixel Fold already. And there are a few things I want to show you and go over in this video that they've shown off in this Reddit post. Namely, some camera samples that go through the different zoom levels, but there's also some other stuff too that I want to very quickly cover before we go into that. The first bit of information here is that they did not buy this directly from the Google store. They bought it through their carrier O2, that is a carrier over in the UK. Now what's really like even stranger about this is that if you go to O2's website and look at the Pixel Fold, what you will see is that if you pre-order it, you're not expected to get it until August the 22nd. How in the world did this person get theirs delivered already? Somebody somewhere, someplace, somehow made an absolutely colossal mistake, and this individual is just the beneficiary of that mistake. Now, of course, they've posted some photos of the device itself, the box that it comes in. As you can see there, this thing is very, very thin. None of this stuff is particularly shocking because we've seen this stuff before. So now let's take a look at some of the photo samples. And I think there's some pretty cool stuff to see here too. So I've downloaded the images here. We're going to go through them in their order, wide 1x, 2x, and then 5x. Before we go any further, let me pull up the properties and we'll go to details. And you can kind of see here. Pixel Fold, F2.2, you can see the ISO, you can also see right here 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. So let's open this first one up. And like I said, this is the wide angle lens. Let's zoom in here and look for any distortion being caused by the wide angle. Everything looks nice and straight. So if there is any distortion, it is being corrected. Of course, on the fringes of any wide angle lens, you're gonna start to lose a little bit of detail and a little bit of quality, some noise being brought in there. But overall, I think that this does look pretty decent, right? The quality is pretty good. The detail is looking quite nice. The colors, I think, look fairly natural. This is not your, your Z Fold wide angle lens where the colors are being boosted a little bit unnaturally. This looks like a pixel photo. Pretty nice, beautiful view out here in the UK for this individual. Now we move to the 1X and you can see that it's not like a huge difference, right? So that's one problem I have. I wish that they would just lean into the LG world of doing things and really go wide angle. It's just not that wide when compared to the standard lens, but that is what it is. With this primary though, looks like the detail does step up a little bit further. We can see some really nice detail even off here in the distance. Again, color looks pretty darn good. If we punch in 2X, this is done, of course, digitally. This is There's no 2X zoom lens on here. This is a digital zoom. And I think it's doing a pretty decent job, right? I think that that looks fairly solid. And of course, we have the 5X, which is optical. And this is looking very, very strong as far as I can tell. Really nice detail on the stucco or whatever that is. Here on this uh, building, the textures are very visible. Each individual leaf is discernible on this bush. Text, colors, everything looks really nice. I'd love to see this 5X pushed to its maximum, which I believe is 20X. I don't know why they didn't go for 30 like it is on the Z Fold. Nonetheless, this is looking quite, quite strong to me. Let's go through some of the comments that the original poster also left on this thread because there's some interesting stuff there. They said they played Claudia. And Octopath Traveler, I've heard of this game, don't know what Last Claudia is. Not highly demanding games, but ran into zero issues. That's definitely good to see for people that are scared of the G2. Shutter speed is quicker on the Pixel than the Galaxy. Much quicker, they say. Finish and feel is so much better in person. Looks incredibly premium. We've got a couple of interesting notes here for multitasking. They're asked, how is Google's approach at multitasking? They said simple. It's two windows at once and a few variations. Not as robust as Samsung's. And that is, I think, exactly what we were expecting. 
Follow-up question, can you change the multitasking view from left, right, to top and bottom without rotating the phone yourself? Of course, with Samsung, that's a thing you can do. You can touch the little line in the middle, and you can switch them to this way or that way, switch sides, so forth and so on. They said they gave it a try, but they can't do it without rotating the phone. Now, I do believe double tapping in the middle will switch them, but in terms of switching them to top and bottom, they say this might not be a thing that you can currently do. Another interesting note, apparently it comes with an inner and outer screen protector pre-installed and they say it's definitely a plastic screen protector on the outside remains to be seen if i'm going to want to leave that on not a big fan of screen protectors the inside one though we're definitely leaving that one on for people that are worried about thermals let's stoke that flame a little bit pun very much intended the right side slash back side did get a bit warm not hot in the slightest but just enough to notice there was a little bit of heat while holding it and this was while using tiktok i can tell you right now that my z fold 4 does this all the time as well. There's an area right in this general vicinity where it absolutely gets warm when it's being used for slightly heavier tasks or even being charged like it is right now. So I'm not super concerned about that, but just information for you. They say the phone does open pretty flat. Crease is noticeable on par with the fold. No better, no worse. That's interesting because other people that I've uh, spoken to or seen their videos said it was slightly better. I think it's going to be close enough that people are going to debate which one they prefer. I think it's probably closer than we would hoped it would have been. Performance seems to be good. They had a few doubts about the Tensor 2, but multitasking to Windows doesn't have any noticeable performance hit, and I do believe that's what everyone's going to encounter. I've shown you in various different ways on this channel that the G2 is more than fast enough to run two of any app you pretty much want to run. People are going to find that out for themselves over the next few weeks. It's going to be totally fine. And I believe that's pretty much all the interesting stuff from this thread, but I am going to link to it in the description down below because... I imagine there will be more things being updated and brought to it. That's why I waited a little bit to see if more comments were left so that I would have more information to bring to you. Guys, so thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. If you're looking at buying the Pixel Fold, consider using one of the affiliate links down below in the pinned comment to help support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy. Bye -bye.